Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Water Resources Breadth section of the Civil PE exam. You are designing a new drinking water plant, and the fluoride levels in the finished water need to be reduced. Which of the following chemicals should you consider to accomplish this? So to solve this problem, we're going to turn to the PE Reference Handbook, and at the time of this recording, we're using version 1.2 of the reference handbook and we're going to look specifically at section 6.1.5.3 and in this section we see there is a table of common chemicals in water and wastewater processing and if we look back at the problem statement we see that the fluoride levels in the finished water so the finished water is the water that's leaving the drinking water treatment plant and going into the distribution system for use by homes and businesses and people in the community. And the fluoride levels in the finished water in the problem statement says need to be reduced. So we know that reduced, that means lowered, right? So what we're going to do is if we look in the table in 6.1.5.3, we see that there's several different chemical compounds listed with their formula, their common application, their molecular weight, and their equivalent weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up each of these chemicals by their name and take a look at the common application to see which one we will use to lower the fluoride levels in the finished water. So we'll first start off with the fluosilicic acid. And in the fluosilicic acid, we see that that is used for fluoridation. So fluoridation refers to the process of introducing fluoride into the water or increasing the fluoride level. So we don't want to increase it, we want to reduce it. So fluosilicic acid is not a viable answer or option for this situation, so we'll cross it out. If we look up in the table about magnesium hydroxide, we see magnesium hydroxide is used for defluoridation. Well, defluoridation is the opposite of fluoridation. So defluoridation is reducing the fluoride level in the water. So that could be a potential answer. So we'll leave that alone and we'll evaluate the next two choices. So in the table, we see sodium fluosilicate is used as a fluoridation agent as well. So we said previously that the fluoridation is used to increase the fluoride level, so we wouldn't want that. So we'll eliminate answer choice C. And finally, sodium hypochlorite. Well, in the table, we see that sodium hypochlorite is used for disinfection, which in this case is not related to the levels of fluoride in the water. So that's not a viable answer choice either. And that leaves us with answer choice B, magnesium hydroxide, would be what we would use to lower the fluoride levels in the finished water. So I hope that helps you. And if you're looking for more practice as you prepare for the civil PE exam, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil breadth and depth review courses for the PE exam. And we'll see you there.